So if you need some custom vinyl lettering for whatever the use, maybe it's for a vehicle, for a window, um, for a sign, whatever you want it to be, um, you can use this tool to make that. So up here at the top, you've got a few different options. If you have, if you want it for a window, then maybe you should try the window lettering tool, and this will bring you to the window lettering tool. There's also a boat lettering, vehicle lettering, sign lettering, and wall lettering. If none of those are what you're looking for, then just use this tool. So right here in this tool, you can. Um, the first thing you'd want to do would be to, to decide how big you want your overall sign to be. So maybe if your sign's for a vehicle, you'd want to measure the door or on the vehicle where you're putting it. Or if it's for a sign, you'd need to measure the sign and get the inches and width and height and put it in here. So let's say you've got a, you want a sign that's about um, two feet um, wide. So you've got um, 24 inches and about you know 10 inches tall. So you'd put uh, 24 for 2 feet and 10 inches there. And this is a preview down here of what it will look like. So if you have multiple lines, let's say this is for um, a restaurant. Let's just say um, you put that in there and just give it a moment. It will update down here. And if you want to do multiple lines, you'd put down here multiple lines, and it will update that, and will still fill up that area. And if you want to, if it's going on a certain color, uh, then you would want to go here, and you can preview what it would look like a little bit. So, say you're putting it on a blue door or or yellow, and you can get an idea of what it would look like. So right here, you can choose the font that you want it, and there's a lot of different fonts to choose from. You just need to pick one that works for you that you like. There's a whole bunch of different ones, and there's a lot of different colors as well. So pick a color and pick a font that you like, and then go with that. The next thing would be to add options. You'd click that button there, which was add options. And you can add borders and shadows here. So let's say you want a, a small black border around it. You'd click this button here under border and color, and you'd click extra small, and then you'd select the black, which is all already by default. Or maybe you want a, a magenta colored border, and you can make the border larger, or you can remove it entirely. So whatever type of border you're looking for, let's just say extra small and black, and you can also add a shadow. Um, you can either put it to the, the bottom left, or you can put it to the bottom right, top left, or top right. And you can change the shadow color. Maybe you want a different colored shadow, something like that. And then right here, um, you can put it center, or you can justify it to the left, or to the right, or to the center. Last thing would be to add effects. So right here, you can do a few different effects. You can make the, the text arc, and you would want to select the arc, and then you'd want to select the percentage that you want it to do. So you do 25% and that's about how much of an arc you get. Um, and I'll give you an idea here, if you do it 100% you get a much more um, intense arc. So there's a few different ones, arc, wave, slant forward and backward, and jiggle. So the last thing you need to do is just add it to cart and check out and that is how you use the custom lettering tool.